on August 16, 1977, the world awoke to the news that Elvis Aaron Presley, the king of rock and roll, was dead. Or was he? Because meanwhile, on the other side of the world, and at the exact same moment that Elvis returned to Sender, the McConaughey family were busy celebrating the birth of the first grandson into their impoverished family home. But there were some things which were very familiar about the little baby Aloysius. The slicked black hair, the curled up lip, the gyrating hips. Could it be that the little boy child is in fact the reincarnation of Elvis Presley? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Chronicles of Elvis McGonagall, showing at the Strule Arts Center, OMA, on Thursday, 16th of August through the Saturday, 18th of August at 8 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now or never. Baby Elvis, sing for your granddad. Sing, baby Elvis, sing. Come on, baby Elvis, sing! Why, baby Elvis? Why? Cut! For fuck's sake, where were you? Then the same five minutes you would have come in straight after Pat. Right, we'll go again. No, I don't want your bloody chocolate. Baby Elvis is singing, Jimmy. Listen, man. Listen. I'll, I'll bring it home to me, Bridget. Jimmy, I swear to you, Baby Elvis was singing, man. Baby Elvis was singing. Come on, Baby Elvis. Sing for your granddad. Sing, Baby Elvis. Sing. Sing, Baby Elvis. Sing! Why, baby Elvis? Why? My name is Bumper Solis, and I'm here too. My name is Johnny, and I, I, I'm here too. And I'm Teresa McGonagall, and I'm on it too. I'm Constable Ewing, and I'm going to catch him, so I am. I'm Maureen, and there's a guy who works down the chip shop, swears he's Elvis. I'm Lizzie, and I'm in it too. Hey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Fergus McCullough. Apparently I'm in it too. Morning to you, it'll be well, Craig, hey? No, but you mean your arm or... Ah, oh, I, I know, I know. The Chronicles of Elvis McGonagall. 